Today we are going to learn Pareme, family religion and moral education. That's what we are going to do. Today we are going to talk about a, a different, um, we are going to talk about the Petrota. This word on, can you write this word down? Can you see it, Samantha? B-E, okay, B-E, B-E-T, B-E-T, R-O, T-H-A-L, okay? That's what we're going to talk about. What does this word mean? What does this word mean? This word means an engagement or preparation to marry, an engagement or a promise to marry. A betrothal is a, an engagement, okay? An engagement that a, a man does to a woman, okay? An engagement. But to, nowadays, how do people uh, show an engagement? How do you know that someone is engaged? They give them rings, don't they? Yes, they give them rings to show that they are engaged. Today, we're going to talk about the betrothal from the biblical terms from way back in the Bible. So we're going to look at the story of Mary and Joseph. We're going to look at the story of Mary and Joseph. We want to look at their betrothal. What happened for them to be together? What, what can you tell me about Mary and Joseph? Anything you can tell me about Mary and Joseph? Yes, Shadrach, what can you tell me about Mary and Joseph from the Bible? Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter. Yes. Joseph was a carpenter. Thank you, Shadrach. Anything else you know about uh, Mary and Joseph, Samantha? Anything, anything, anything you know about Mary and Joseph? This was a very, this is a very special couple in the, in the Christian religion. Why are they a very special couple? Mary and Joseph, they are a very special couple in the Christian religion. Shadrach? Your hand is up. Mary spoke to Mary spoke to an angel. Mary spoke to an angel about a certain issue, a very important issue. What was this angel telling Mary? Do you know Samantha? Yes, Samantha. And Mary was Jesus' parent. Yes, Mary was the mother of Jesus. When we talk about Christianity. When we talk about the religion of Christianity, we talk about Mary and Joseph because they are of importance to us. They brought us Jesus Christ, who is the person we follow when you talk about Christianity. So today I want to talk about the betrothal. I want to talk about their engagement, what happened before they became the parent of Jesus, okay? So we want to look at engagement. What was happening way back? You remember that nowadays there are things that are done. A man gives a woman a ring for him to show that he is engaged to the woman. But I want to talk about way back in the biblical times, what was happening when someone was engaged? And want to look at Mary, want to look at, uh, we want to also look at Mary and Joseph's marriage, okay? We want to look at Mary and Joseph's marriage and what happened. What was the happening? What happened there? Okay, that's what we want to talk about. I hope your pens and papers are ready because this is what we want to talk about. Tabo, unlock your video. Your video is off. Yes. So we want to talk about that. Mary and Joseph were engaged to Joseph. Okay. Joseph and Mary were engaged. Okay. Joseph went to Mary's parents and he made a picture, which means it was a promise to Mary. Uh, it was a promise to marry Mary, okay? Yes. So when Mary and Joseph were married to, when Mary and Joseph brought out, it didn't mean that they were staying together. They were not staying together during those that time. They were still awaiting for marriage, okay? And also, during the biblical times, it was very important for those people who have made a betrothal, which we say it is a promise to marry, for them to be faithful to one another. Okay, it was very important for them to be faithful to one another. Okay, so when we look at the betrothal, that's what we are talking about, being faithful to one partner, okay? Mary and Joseph, 
they had promised that they were going to get married to each other. They were faithful to each other. Okay, Mary and Joseph were not yet a um, they were not yet the husband. They just had a betrothal, which means that they had a promise to marry. They were engaged to one another. Okay, so now I want to look into it. What happened so that we can we can say what do we learn from the betrothal of Mary and Joseph? So from then, now that Mary and Joseph had a betrothal, which we call an engagement, what, what happened to Mary? Mary, one day when she woke up, she found out she was pregnant, okay? She found out that she was pregnant, but she was not pregnant by Joseph, was she? Samantha, was Mary pregnant by Joseph? Uh, was Mary pregnant by Joseph? Tell me what happened for Mary what had happened for Mary to be pregnant? You can tell me what had happened. Because we are looking into, we are looking into the whole engagement between Mary and Joseph. What happened for Mary to be pregnant? What who can tell what happened? Yes, Shadrach, your hand is up. What happened? There was a miracle. There was a miracle. What was the miracle? What was this miracle that it happened? The miracle was that Mary, Mary, what happened to Mary? There was the Holy Spirit that had made Mary pregnant, okay? Yes. So Mary now, remember, when you look at, we are looking at Mary and Joseph, right? We say that Joseph had made a betrothal to Mary, okay? And Mary found out that she was pregnant, whilst Joseph on this side was not the father of the baby. And Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit for her to be pregnant. Okay, so what happened? Yes. Mary decided to tell Joseph. Mary told Joseph that, Joseph, I am pregnant, okay? And Joseph knew that the pregnancy did not belong to him, okay? So Joseph was planning to leave Mary privately because he knew that this child that Mary was carrying was not his. Okay, he was, I think it's better that it's very privately because as they had, we are talking about betrothal, it means that when this, when Joseph was engaged to Mary, which means he was pregnant, Mary, Mary, okay? And now that Mary was pregnant and the pregnancy did not belong to Joseph, Joseph decided, mm, I think I better leave Mary. And then one day as Joseph was sleeping, an angel came to Joseph's dream and this angel told Joseph, that Joseph, do not be afraid. The baby that Mary is carrying, this baby is a special baby. This baby is going to save the world, okay? And this baby will be called Jesus Christ, okay? From then, Joseph decided to change his mind. Joseph changed his mind and decided to have the baby that Mary was carrying because now Joseph understood that Mary was conceived of the Holy Spirit. We hear that Mary was a virgin girl who gave birth to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Okay, so when we look into this story, this is the story that, told, that tells us about how engagements are supposed to be. Okay, we look at Joseph as a man who decided to love Mary, despite the fact that knowing that the child that Mary was carrying was and Joseph listened to God. Joseph listened to the angel's message that told him that the baby belonged. The baby from the Holy Spirit, this baby is going to save the world. Frederick, you are a boy, okay? If you are in a situation that, that Joseph was in, what were you going to do? Mrs. Mitchell, I will tell you, Shaka, now I'm going to have a baby. And what were you going to do? Were you going to do like Joseph? When you were going, remember we said that Joseph was planning to run away uh, privately. But then there was an angel that talked to Joseph. What can you say about Joseph? Were you going to do like Joseph? Or were you also going to leave Mary privately? I was going to do like Joseph. You're going to, you're going to, to do like Joseph? Yeah. Yes. You're going to listen. And let's, uh, let me talk to you, Samantha. If you were in Mary's uh, situation, were you going to accept this baby? Despite knowing that this is not my baby, I'm still engaged to Joseph. Were you going to accept this baby? Yeah. 
Không có. No. Somebody is saying no. Somebody is saying no because she's being honest. She's saying that this was a heavy thing. So if you look at Mary, what kind of a woman do you think Mary was? Because let's look at the situation that Mary was in. She was just a young girl. She was waiting to get married to, a, to Joseph and now she was pregnant. And she accepted this baby. What kind of a woman do you think Mary was? Let's give a character. What kind of a character do you think Mary was for accepting this baby and everything that was given to her now that she was also visited by the angel? Remember, Mary was also visited by the angel Gabriel and she told her that, blessed are you amongst all women. You have been chosen to carry this baby that is going to save the world. Up to today, we are still following Christianity because Mary, the mother of Jesus, bore Jesus and she agreed to carry this baby that was going to save us all. What kind of a woman do you think Mary was? Let's give you a character. What kind of a woman do you think she was? Anyway, what kind of a woman do you think she was? Shadrach? What kind of a woman do you think she was? I think she was an honest woman. She was an honest woman. That's good. What kind of a woman do you think she was? What about Joseph? What kind of a man do you think he was? For taking up that role and becoming the man uh, that he was going to be and becoming the father of Jesus Christ. Knowing that he was not the one, uh, he was, he was, uh, yes, uh, Samantha? Uh, can I try? Yes, you can try, Samantha. Good man. Sorry? A good man. He was a good man, yes. He was also brave. He was a very brave man, like what Shadrach said. Shadrach said he was going to be like Joseph. So Shadrach is a brave man. He was a brave man. He took up the role. We know that as we take the story moving on, we know the hardships that they went through. Jesus Christ was born in a manger, remember? You remember all that story? And Joseph was still there next to Mary, knowing that this child that they were going to have was going to save the world. Our topic was on the betrothal ceremonies. A betrothal is an engagement or a promise to Mary. The story of uh, Mary and Joseph shows us about the, a pure and real true betrothal, where we see a man and a woman coming together to father a baby whom they were given by God. They stood together, Mary became brave, and Joseph was brave as well as he stood and became the father to Jesus. We understand as we move on that Joseph was the father to Jesus Christ. He was there for him as he grew up. He was also there when he was born. Okay. So this teaches us a lot about the betrothal, which is an engagement. Okay. And also when you look at Mary and Joseph, they were always faithful to one another. Okay. It teaches us about being faithful. Mary was faithful to Joseph, and Joseph was faithful to Mary. To the end, Joseph was there for Mary, even when he heard about the, the child that Mary was going to have. Joseph was there for Mary every step of the way. Okay, I've got some questions that I want us to answer together. Number one says, the betrothal was taken to be a marriage because dish. Why would you say a betrothal is a marriage? A betrothal was taken to be a marriage because dish. I said the betrothal is a dish to marry. It's a? Or was it taken to be a marriage? Because it was a? It was a dish to marry. Because it was a promise to marry, okay? It is an engagement, okay? Because when a man and woman say that they, they have a betrothal, meaning that they have a promise to marry each other, they have a promise, a promise to marry one another, okay? The two of them, they are, okay? So a betrothal was taken to be a marriage because it was like a proposal, it was an engagement. Okay. One of the ways to avoid HIV infection for married couples is through being F, like Mary and Joseph, they were F. What does this F stand for? Yes, Shadrach. 
Faithful. Faithful, yes. One of the ways of avoiding HIV infection for married couples is through being faithful. What problem did Joseph, and Joseph face in his relationship when he was betrothed to Mary? What was the problem that Joseph faced? I said that they were, they were engaged and then there was a problem that, that, they, that Joseph faced. What was the problem, the challenge that Joseph had to face and yet to overcome? What was the challenge or the problem that Joseph faced? Yes, Shadrach? Okay. Mary knew without the with the big uh, Mary Nian. Mary here because Mary was Mary was was Mary May because Mary was faithful that that Jesus was not the child of yes. what was the problem the problem that Joseph faced in in there engagement was that all of a sudden Mary was was uh, pregnant, okay? Joseph had to face that problem. Remember that the Joseph was not the father to the child, but Joseph was told that Mary was pregnant and he had to accept this child because this child came from God himself, okay? And then how was the problem faced by Joseph? So how was the problem that Joseph how was the problem Joseph faced was solved? How was it solved? This problem that we've talked about. We said the problem was that Mary became pregnant. So how was it solved? How was it solved? What happened? For, uh, how was the problem solved? Is your hand up, Samantha? How was the problem solved? Yes, Shadrach. How was the problem solved? The problem was solved because the angel told Joseph that this child came from God. Yes, yes, I can see Pastor Shadrach is in the is in the classroom today. Yes, the problem was solved because the angel came and told Joseph. Remember, Joseph now the problem. He said, "What should I do to leave Mary privately?" And then the problem was solved as this angel was sent directly to Joseph during his. Uh, when you are sleeping in a dream, and they told him that Joseph, don't be afraid. The baby that Mary gave, it comes from God himself. Mary was by the Holy Spirit. Mary did not do anything wrong. Okay, Mary was faithful throughout to Joseph. It's just that Mary was chosen by God to have a son. Okay. She did not do anything wrong. She was chosen to have the son. They were both chosen to be parents of Jesus Christ. How would you feel, Shadra, if you were chosen to be the parent of the next Christ? How would you feel? I would feel happy. Yes, you feel happy because they will say, Samantha, how would you feel to be the mother of Jesus Christ? To be chosen by God. To say, Samantha, we have chosen you to be the mother of Jesus Christ. Oh, you feel, yes, you'll be happy, yes. Because, which means that God has seen you to be pure. God has seen you to be good enough to choose you to be the mother of Jesus Christ. Not just any Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ, the person who is going to be big, who is going to be worshipped by the whole world. Do you understand? The owner, the creator of the heavens and the earth, you are given that chance to become, to bear that child and bring that child to the world. That's what Mary and Joseph were. They were parents who were given the chance to bring, uh, to bring to life a child who would bring happiness to the world. And moreover, who would bring, they, that child would save the world. We know that Jesus Christ was crucified at the end for all of us to be saved. Okay? Yes. And who visited Mary and told her of the miracle of having a son by the Holy Spirit? Who visited Mary? Who can tell me who visited Mary and told her of the miracle of having a son by the Holy Spirit? What was that angel's name? What was the angel's name? Let him, that person is name. Yes, Shadrach? Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel. Yes, that was Angel Gabriel. What did Joseph plan to do when he found out that Mary was pregnant? What did Joseph plan to do? When he found out that Mary was pregnant. Remember, Mary told Joseph that I'm pregnant. Okay? Joseph planned to do something before.
before he was, before an angel came to him, what was, what did he plan to do? What did he plan to do? What did he plan to do? Yes, Shadrach? No, in private. So yes, he was planning to give in privacy. He was planning to 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 cut off that engagement, which we have called betrothal. Okay. So this word betrothal, when it comes to winning an exam, don't think it's a different way than something that is difficult. Just an engagement or a promise to marry. And the story of Mary and Joseph is a very good example of betrothal because it was one of the greatest engagements that we have seen, okay? Where there was so much faithfulness, a lot of love as well that was expressed. We see Mary becoming brave to take over and carry this child. When she knew that she was not supposed to be pregnant, but she became pregnant and accepted the child. We see Joseph, who also accepted being the father of this child, despite knowing that he was not responsible for Mary's pregnancy. He became brave. And we see Joseph expressing love to Jesus. There is no place where we hear that Joseph think, I don't want this child. I don't want to. Joseph was there, okay? Until the end, okay? Joseph was there up to the end. Joseph was there throughout the end. This betrothal of Mary and Joseph teaches us about faithfulness. It teaches us about love. It teaches us about the proper channels of a betrothal or an engagement. Because we see two young people who were given a responsibility that they took up and took it well. They took it to the end. They were there for Jesus Christ when he was young. They were there for him until Jesus Christ started his journey, okay, of uh, preaching and teaching and healing up until the day Jesus Christ died. We hear that Mary was there on that cross as well. She was there, she was crying, and when Jesus died on the cross, they took Jesus' body and they put it on Mary's, on Mary's feet there, okay? Which means they were there from the start to the end, okay? So the betrothal, remember, is an engagement, okay? We have the betrothal even in our daily lives today, but we wanted to look at it on the family religious, uh, the, the religious part, the Christian part, so we see that engagements do not start now. They started way back. And we have Mary and Joseph is one of our best examples of engagement. With our a lot of faithfulness, a lot of love, a lot of care, responsibility. We see a, a lot of, uh, a, they, they were also great. Yeah. Okay. I uploaded uh, some work for you that is in relation to our lesson. Remember the betrothal, remember the story of Mary and Joseph, what happened, okay? We are looking at it from a deeper way where we are explaining, where we are uh, also looking at the advantages and the disadvantages as well, okay? I hope you managed to understand our lesson for today. We're going to continue it again tomorrow, okay? So let me give you a chance to say goodbye to each other before we, we end our lesson for today. Bye, Samantha. Bye, teacher. Bye, Shadre. Bye, Samantha. Bye. See you again tomorrow. Bye. This is our new timetable, okay? We are meeting at 12. Okay? Okay. okay? okay. So tell others as well who are not here if you manage to get them, okay? Tell them that we are now meeting at 12, okay? okay so bye. Bye. bye.